everyone. I'm Cassandra Ray, your host for our Lake Orion Trivia Evening. We have two very special guests in our studio tonight. Um, can you go ahead and hit your red buzzer and introduce yourself for everyone? Uh, I'm Jesse Anderson. <laughs> and yellow contestant, please introduce yourself. Oh, and make sure you keep that in your hand. Oh, yeah. Because that's a speed. Hey, my name is Gabriel, and I'm the yellow contestant. All right, are you guys ready? Woo! Okay, first question. And it's all about speed, so you're wanna, gonna wanna keep that in your hand. All right. Who directed the 1994 film Pulp Fiction? Quentin Tarantino. Yes, sir. Very good. Oh, you even got a little clap on it. <laughs> <Isn't> <laughs> it? I like it. All right. In the Harry Potter film series, what is the name of Hagrid's pet dragon? Hagrid's pet dragon. I no idea. Anything? Nothing. We both pass? Pass. Yeah. All right. It's Norberta. Yeah. Norberta. No. <laughs> <laughs> she sounds very nice. <laughs> All right. Who played the character of Tony Montana and the... Al Pacino. Oh, that was quick. Very good. Another point for Jesse. All right. Uh, which movie won the Academy Award for Best Picture in 2020? Best picture in 2020. Is it COVID? <laughs> oh, I didn't. No, I don't know. I shouldn't have laughed, but no, it, there was that wasn't happening in 2020. But it wasn't a movie yet. Yeah, <laughs> it felt like one though. All right, you guys have anything? I got pass on that one too. All right, it's called Parasite, which is very interestingly close to the virus COVID. That's fine. Interesting. All right, in the film The Shawshank Redemption, what is the occupation of the main character, Andy Dufrenzi? Is that a prison guard? No. Nope. All right. Oh. What's the okay. occupation um, of the like, main character? Like a carpenter, maybe? I can't remember. No, he was a banker. Oh. Yeah, remember he banker. kept the logs and whatnot? Yeah. That's how, yeah. All right, next one is who played the character Ellen Ripley in the Alien film series? Yes. So Gourney Weaver? Yep, that's right. That is correct. Uh, which actor portrayed James Bond in the film Golden Eye, released in 1990? Pierce Brosnan. Yes, look, you're on fire! <laughs> <laughs> um, in the movie Forrest Gump, what is the famous line repeated by Forrest Gump? Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Yes. <laughs> Very good. All right. Uh, who directed the 2008 superhero film, The Dark Knight? You said directed. Directed, yes. Who directed the 2008 superhero film, The Dark Knight? I got pass. I don't yes. remember. Okay, that is Christopher Nolan. Oh, yeah. All see. right. Which actor portrayed the character Thor in the Marvel Cinematic, Cinematic Universe? Which actor portrayed the character Thor in the Marvel Cinematic Universe? I don't know the name. Chris Hemsworth? Yes. Yep. Wow, I'm impressed. Okay, this one's easy. This is all about speed. Oh, All right. In the film The Lion King, what is the name of Simba's father? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, man. You know I this. can't remember it now. Oh, I got, no. Oh, no. I got pass. I can't remember. You pass? Okay. Do I have to hit the thing? Why not? Mufasa. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Ooh, say yeah. it again. Mufasa. <laughs> Mufasa. <laughs> All right. We're moving on to the TV <clears throat> trivia. Okay. What is the score by any chance? Do we know? Five to two. Five to two. All right. Okay. Uh, who is the lead character on the TV show House MD, known for his diagnostic skill? House MD. Who is the lead character? Oh. Dr. House, isn't that what his name is? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, what is the name of the fictional city in The Simpsons where the Simpson family resides? Springfield. That is correct. All right. Who portrayed the character of Walter White in the television? 
Brian Cranston. <laughs> Listen, you, oh, <laughs> man, right. he's on fire. He just tied it up. All right. That, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's tied. We are tied now. Uh, what TV show features a time traveling alien known as the Doctor? T is it Doctor Who? It is Doctor oh. Who. Oh, he's leading now. Jamie's, Jesse's in the lead. Uh, <laughs> I just called you the wrong name. Uh, what is the name of the fish, fictional continent on the TV show Game of Thrones? Can you repeat it? What is the name of the fictional continent on the TV show Game of Thrones? Continent. Fictional continent. Is it Westeros? It sure is. That is correct. Who is the main character on the TV show The Walking Dead, known for leading? Rick Grimes. Correct. I like this. You guys are back and forth, back and forth. In the TV <laughs> series Stranger Things, what is the name of the young girl with... Eleven. Yes. Which TV show is a mockumentary that depicts the daily lives of employees working at the Dunder Myth... The Office? Yes. Come on. Who is the creator of the TV series The Wire? Who is the creator of the TV series The Wire? I should know that. That sucks. I have no idea. The creator of the TV se series The Wire. I'm gonna just say, I'm gonna say Chris Hansen, even though it's wrong, probably. Yeah. You pass. Yeah. It was David Simon. Oh, All right. Yeah. Who is the creator of the TV series Friends? Yeah. David Crane and Marta Kaufman. Mm. Hmm, that was a tough one. Which TV show set is set in the fictional town of Hawkins where supernatural events occur? Sorry, I'll repeat that. Which TV show is set in the fictional town of Hawkins where supernatural events occur? Is it Stranger Things? It sure is. All right. Who played Daenerys, Daenerys Targaryen? in the TV show Game of Thrones. I think I murdered that name. I don't know. You did, but I... You did! <laughs> I can't remember her name. Uh, like, her character name? Uh, who played? So oh, who was no, I don't know her name. She's cute, though. Is that the blonde? Yeah. Oh, okay, I see her. I don't... I have no idea. It was Amelia Clark. Oh. And last question. This is it. Which Game of Thrones actor received an Emmy nomination for every season? Which... Peter Dinklage? That is correct. Oh, All nice. right. What is the score? What do we have right now? Eight. Gabriel is eight. Was that nine? What do I got? Nine. Eight to nine. Oh, wow. Whoa. So you move on to the next round. Yippee. Wonderful. Very, very good. Good job, Jamie. Thank you. Uh, I hope everyone had Thank a you, wonderful Piedra. time and visit us. We're going to be back here in just a little bit with a next contestant, and Jay Jesse's going to go head to head for our second round. Hey, it's Owen TV here. Now, have you ever had the urge to create your own TV show? Or just wanted to see what goes behind the scenes of making one? Well, we have just the program for you. Owen TV offers production classes, which allow you to take control and create the programs you want them to be. To get started, all you have to do is sign up for a free orientation and then register for one of our production courses. For more information, feel free to call us at 248-393-1060 or go to orionontv.org and click register now to sign up for classes. We hope to see you soon. Welcome back to Lake Orion Trivia. I'm your host, Cassandra Ray, and welcome to our second round. We have some new contestants here in the studio. Uh, red contestant, please introduce yourself. Oh, that's the buzzer. Sorry. No, that's fine. Uh, that's what we want to hear. The, hi, that's your red um, buzzer. My name is Sierra. Welcome, Sierra. And yellow contestant, let's hear your buzzer. My name is Jacqueline. All right, ladies, are you ready? Yes. Okay, well, this is music trivia. Okay. So who was the first female artist to be introduced into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? The first female artist to be introduced into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I'm gonna guess Tina Turner. Nope, all right, that goes to you. Do you have anything? I don't listen to rock. Oh, okay, so the answer was Aretha Franklin. Uh, the next one is, who is the lead singer of Coldplay? Chris Martin. Correct. Correct. What was Elvis Presley's middle name? 
Aaron. That's correct. I did not know that. Wow. <laughs> Who is the best selling female artist of all time? The best. Taylor Swift? No. Before then, I'll give a little hint. Oh. I don't know. You don't know? Madonna. I was going to say that. I said, it's Madonna. Before <laughs> so that, it's Madonna. Uh, who wrote the song Bohemian Rhapsody? Queen. Mm, it says, <gasps> oh, do you No, know? I don't know. Oh, I say it. It says Freddie Mercury. Oh. Yeah. Well, he was the lead singer <laughs> of Queen. I know. That's the iffy part. That's why I was like, well, <laughs> all right. Um, what was the first music video played on MTV? What was the first music video played on MTV? I don't know. God, I have no I have a few ideas. I just can't remember which one came first. Oh, well. Yes. Might as well push the button and try. Michael Jackson Thriller? No. No. <laughs> I don't know. My brain's empty. It's Video Killed the Radio Star. That was a really good song. <laughs> Who was the lead vocalist of the band Queen? <laughs> Freddie Mercury. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> it ended up coming back around. Okay. What is the name of Adele's debut album? What is the name of Adele's debut album? Anybody? Wow, this is like the sad version of the last one. Uh, I can guess. Can always guess. Just hit your buzzer. And, yeah. Adele? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Do you have anything? <laughs> the answer is 19. Oh. That's interesting. Who wrote the song Purple Haze? <laughs> Jimi Hendrix. Correct. All right. Which artist holds the record for the most number one hits on the Billboard Hot 100 chart? For the most number one hits on the Billboard Hot 100. You can always throw a guess out. I know. It's probably not right, but Taylor Swift. I don't know. No. Good guess. Very good mm -hmm. guess. Mm -hmm. That automatically goes to you. I know. I'm, th I'm, I'm thinking young people, but uh, I don't know. Miley Cyrus? No, nope. nope. Mariah Carey. Oh. Yeah, she used to be a big deal. Uh, which British rock band is known for their hit song, Stairway to Heaven? Led Zeppelin. Correct. Which artist is known for the hit song, Rolling in the Deep? Adele. Correct. Good job. Who composed the famous symphony, Symphony Number no. 9 in D minor, also known as the Choral Symphony? Symphony Number no. 9. Think of symphonies and just take a wild guess. I don't know any symphonies. I feel it. The only classic person, Beethoven. Correct. Oh, <laughs> I was Beethoven. Is the only person I can think. Of. When, yeah, when in doubt, just throw something out. <laughs> uh, who is known as the father of hot courtier? We are moving on to. Sorry, we are moving on to fashion. Who is known as the father of hot courtier? Hot courtier. I think that's what it is. is I it? think I said it wrong. How do you spell their last name? That's. It, no, that's, that's, you got Is it guitar? Or am I crazy? I don't know. Hmm. Mm. Uh, I guess I'll, I'll take a guess. Jean, Jean, Jean Paul Gaultier? Mm. Charles Frederick Worth. Oh, I don't know him. What iconic fashion item was created by Coco Chanel in 1920s? What iconic fashion item was created by Coco Chanel in 1920s. Um, I don't know. Sh 
Chanel number five. I would have went there too, but it's <laughs> the like, little black dress. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I, was okay. like, I don't think perfume is really a fashion item, but it's something you wear. <laughs> what fashion house is known for its double CC logo? The CC logo. Coco Chanel. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Which designer is credited with popularizing the mini skirt in 1960s? Fashion designer. It's hmm. a tough one. I don't know. Pass. All right. That was Mary Quant. Quaint. Uh, what luxury brand is famous for its trench coats and checkered patterns? Um, Londonberry or London Fog? What? No. <laughs> I don't know. Do you have anything? Mm -mm. It's Burberry. When you said oh. berry, I was like, oh, so close. Uh, what fashion designer is associated with the phrase, that's hot? That's hot. You can hear Paris Hilton. Correct. <laughs> that was my Paris Hilton impression. No, I was hot. like, oh, that's hot. <laughs> uh, all right. Last question. What is the popular pattern often associated with Scotland? Plaid. Correct. All right. That was quick. So we're going to go with one more. What fashion designer founded the brand Gucci? Gucci? Correct. <laughs> 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 right. Well, <laughs> what is the score here? What do we got? Six to two. Six oh. to two. So, Jacqueline, you move on to the next round, the final round, where she will be battling Jesse. Uh, so stay tuned for that, and we'll see you back in a minute. The Friends of the Orion Township Library are looking for book donations and volunteers for their next gently used book sale. With the goal of promoting reading, literacy, and lifelong learning, the nonprofit organization began in 1985 and is the liaison between the community and its library. All but a fraction of the money raised by the Friends is donated for program funding, material, and monetary contribution for the library. If you are interested in learning more, please visit orionlibrary.org slash friends. Welcome back to Lake Orion Trivia. I'm your host, Cassandra Ray, and we have our two champions, well, they're vying for the championship of trivia, Jesse and Jacqueline. So are we ready to jump into this? Ready. Sports trivia, here we go. How many feet separate the skates in a game of horseshoes? Stakes, I said skates. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Five. No. How many feet separate the stakes? in a game of horseshoes. Three? Forty. You oh. guys are going to be just <laughs> chucking horseshoes right at each other's heads. <laughs> I guess that's that funny. Thinking, yeah. Okay, uh, what is a golfer said to have if he is entitled to tee off first? What is a golfer said to have if he is entitled to tee off first? Anyone? Wait, what is it? What's the question? What is a golfer said to have if he is entitled to tee off first? So if he gets to go first, he has the... Seniority? No. All right. I'm going to throw a guess out. Um, he has the blank. He has the... Uh, to go first. Top spot? I don't know. <laughs> he has the honor to oh, tee off uh, first. Yeah. All right. Which sport has a penalty shot? Hockey. It's not what this says, but that's interesting. Basketball. It says football, soccer. <laughs> so oh. we're, I don't even know about that one. I think you both are right, but we'll just pass. Uh, what world champ was the first figure skater ever to star in her own video game? What world champ was the first figure skater to ever star in her own video game? Michelle Kwan. Correct. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Which famous fighter appeared in the film 
Requiem for a heavyweight. I think I said that properly. R-E-Q-U-I-E-M, Requiem for a heavyweight. Requiem. Mm. Requiem. It, Requiem uh, for a heavyweight. Was it Mike Tyson? No. Oh, um. Oh, what's his name? Oh, I'm thinking Sting Like a Butterfly. You know, what's his name? I can't remember his <laughs> Sting name. Sting Like a Butterfly. Sting Like a Butterfly, Move Like a Bee. Hmm. I can't remember his name. All right. Muhammad Ali. Yes, that's hmm. him. Which bowling term is defined as movements and co contortions of the body intended to steer the ball? Which bowling term is defined as movements and contortions of the body intended to steer the ball? A bowling term. Yeah, no. Anybody have any bowling terms to steer? The ball. <laughs> that's why contorting your body. Like, I'll just say like, like twist, because mm. that's what they. Yeah. It is actually body English. That's interesting. What is the term used when a golfer completes a hole in two strokes under par? Eagle. Correct. In tennis, what is the term used when a player wins a point without the opponent opponent touching the ball? In tennis, what is the term used when a player wins a point? without the opponent touching the ball. Love? No. no. Uh, match point? Mm, it's ace. Oh, an ace. In basketball, how many points is a free throw worth? Three. No. Free throw? One. Yes, one. Oh. Sorry, in baseball, I, was thinking of the three point I thought it was three two, <laughs> <laughs> but I have the answer. <laughs> uh, in baseball, what is the term for hitting a home run with all three bases occupied, resulting in four runs? Is this like bases full? It would be the next one up that got everyone in. In oh, baseball, oh, it's a grand slam. Correct. All right. Oh, do I need to push my button? Yeah. <laughs> oh, congrats. <laughs> Which country won the FIFA World Cup in 2018? Was it Brazil? No. Mm -hmm. Do I need a buzz? I'm going to guess Spain. France. Oh. All right. How many players from each team are allowed on the court at a time in basketball? Five. Yes. Yep. Who won the Super Bowl in 2021? The Patriots. Mm, nope. 2021. Mm, okay. 2021. Tampa Bay? Yep. Buccaneers. That is correct. The Buccaneers, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Okay, on to technology. Are you guys ready? Yes. You want to stretch it out a little bit? Feeling good? Oh, yeah. All right. What has Microsoft technology designed to allow an easy combination of HTML, scripts, and ActiveX? Microsoft Word? It's Act. Did you have any? Oh, wait. And what was the question again? What has Microsoft technology designed to allow an easy combination of HTML, scripts, and ActiveX? Um, I don't know. It's active server pages. All right, which security group grew out of the chaos caused by the Morris worm? Which security group grew out of the chaos caused by the Morris worm? I have no idea. I'm blanking, yeah. All right, that is CERT. Let's see, what is the name of Apple OS X email client? The name of Apple OS X email client? Mm-hmm. I have no idea. Mac? Oh, Mac? No. No. I have no idea. iCloud? <laughs> I'm just going to say, like, iCloud. No, it was Apple Mail, which that seems to be enough. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
Apple mail. What is our score? You have Jesse with one and then Jacqueline with five. With five. Five to one. Okay, well that concludes our Lake Orion trivia. You, Jacqueline, get this beautiful oh, crew shirt. Check yeah, that out for sweet. ON TV. Thank you for thank playing. You. And thank you all for tuning in. We will be doing this again soon and hopefully you come back to see us. Have a wonderful day.